from a place we're not allowed to reveal. It's the, 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 the Tom Micah Show. Yes! That's awesome! And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues. Do you really care about it's a different kind of a radio talk program? We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1 800 5800 Tom. 1 800 5800 866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. We appreciate it. Here we are together again on the radio. An email for a listener named Martin. Martin writes in. Here is what Martin has to say. Dear Tom, I'm a young kid. Just turned 19. I wanted to share a story with you. I just broke it off with my ex-girlfriend. For good. She was my first love, first girlfriend I ever had. And I feel like a complete idiot for all the things I do for her. I would hear the advice you give and say, that stuff isn't for everyone. Or, not all girls are dream killers. But as I realize now, that's pretty much the definition for about 99.9% of all the girls. Here's my story. My ex-girlfriend and I were best of friends. First mistake, believing that. We couldn't be happier. One day, she told me that she wanted to take it to the next level. And I agreed. At first, it was great. We had sex 24-7, went everywhere together, couldn't get enough of each other. Soon, she changed and became more aggressive. She would cry if I went out with my friends, talk to other girls, or for other reasons. On the other hand, She still thought it was okay if she went to parties, talked to other guys, and whatnot, so she didn't believe in the double standard. As time went on, like an idiot, I would do anything she told me to do. Buy her clothes, makeup, bags, pretty much everything. You're making me sick, Mark. I would drive her everywhere. And now that gas is expensive, it was not cheap. Well, that's... True words were never spoken. He said, I felt more like a taxi than a boyfriend. I broke it off with her because I felt that parties and going out meant more to her than being with me. Well, (laughs) it did. What I did, Tom, was the stupidest thing ever. After the breakup, I felt as if I made the biggest mistake of my life, so I went back to being her boy toy. That's not exactly what I would call it. Martin says, I continued to buy her everything she wanted, drive her everywhere, like an idiot. All because I thought we would get back together at the end. And this girl was no idiot. She knew she wasn't going to get back with me, and she just used me. I lost all my friends because she made me stop talking to them. Oh, boy. For seven months, Tom, I was pretty much her slave. I finally realized that we weren't going to get back together and broke it off for good. Tom, there is no reason to be 
Look at this. No reason to be down on yourself at all. She used me for money. My best friend, who I thought I could trust, turned into a drama queen and effed me over. I am never going to experience this again. I am currently in school as I pursue a career in firefighting. Girls nowadays will break your heart and use you. There is no point in having a girlfriend, and I learned that the hard way. Thank you for reading my email, Tom. Please share it with other men so they don't go through the same mistake I went through. That's from Martin. Martin's 19 years old. I can't emphasize that enough. This is what I keep telling you guys. At 18 and 19 and 20 and 21, these ages are too young to be having girlfriends. That doesn't mean you're too young to date. Doesn't mean you're too young to get laid. Doesn't mean you're too young to have fun. You are too young to be giving up your freedom. You are too young to be giving up the opportunities. You are too young to be giving up exploration, experimentation, and all the things that go with being young. You are too young to give those up. Are you aware the average man in this country lives to 77 years old? What is the goddamn rush about giving up your freedom? What is the goddamn rush about giving up the opportunities you have to have threesomes, to do crazy things, to have sex with women of every race, creed, color, to be able to travel, to be able to build up your resume, to be able to build up your your college uh, degrees, to be able to build up your finances? Have you guys all just given up on yourselves? Decided that you'll never amount to anything? You guys who go around, you know, you're just pussy whipped. You're just being beaten into submission to do things that women make you do so you can continue to have sex with them. How pathetic are you? Guys like you are pathetic. Anybody who's got a serious relationship under age 25 is a moron. In fact, for my money, anyone who's got a serious relationship before age 40 is a moron. I did it myself, and I was a moron. All the fun I could have had, all the things I should have done, I'll spend the rest of my life, try, life trying to make up for those mistakes. And so would you. Seriously, boys. Why are you having babies at these young ages? Why do you have girlfriends? Why are you getting married? Why are you getting engaged? Why are you making commitments? Stupid, 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 stupid! Isn't it? Tom Likas. 1 800 5800 Tom. Tom, Tom, Tom. Tom Likas. Hi, Tom, I love you. As well you should, darling. You're awesome. Thank you. Okay, so what are we talking about? I don't know. I'll tell you what. Buy a radio. Call me back. It's the Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Trying to understand all these guys who want to have these relationships at young ages. I don't understand. Gina, of the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Um, Hi. I just wanted to make a quick comment. I was listening to the letter that you read uh, from Martin. Yes. Hello? Okay. Yes. Um, I, I agree. I listen to you off and on, and I don't agree with everything that you say, but I do agree with what you say about, you know, these relationships that people are having when they're really young. And I just wanted to comment that, you know, it goes the same for these young girls who somebody somewhere is teaching young girls that they have to do this to guys or that they should do this to guys and that they have to manipulate them. And, you know, I think it's a, it's something that, you know, maybe you could tell your women listeners that, like, they should be having fun, too, when they're 19. And they oh, should. there's no doubt. I mean, I, yeah. I always say nobody should have a serious relationship before age 25. Because uh, I, I have a lot of younger relatives, and they're all doing this. They're all trying to get married at, like, 22, and it, it's just always a disaster. And um, I think that you make a lot of good points when you when you talk about that kind of thing. Well, thank you for that. You're welcome. I appreciate the call. I do. Good. 
1-800-5800. Tom, that's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to uh, John on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. How hello, you doing, I'm, do- I'm doing okay. Yeah, I uh, called for some advice. I'm uh, currently involved with two girls, and uh, one's a uh, bring-home-the-mom kind of girl, and the other one's a, a freak. I've been uh, involved with both of them for the last couple months, and uh, the good girl's kind of getting attached to me. She's in love with me, and uh, I'm afraid that there's going to be some way they're going to find out about each other. What, what, uh, what should I do? Well, it, that can't last forever. There will come the time when you have to stop. Yeah, well, the one, one lives in San Diego and the other one's in Orange County. And okay. I kind of like it. The distance is there as far as um, I live uh, over in Lomita, over by Redondo, and it's... So they can't find out about each other. So why do you care? Well, the thing is, is uh, I'm, I enjoy the company of, of both of them. It's just... The one told me that she loved me, and uh, I didn't. I didn't respond anything back to her, and uh, I don't know if I'm in the wrong. Just you know, as far as treating her, I, I still respect. You know, I still want to respect the women, and uh, I don't know. I, I just don't want to break her heart. Should I? Why? Wor- right wait, wait, her? stop, stop right there. Why are you worried about that? I'm worried because uh, I mean. I, I, I'm a strong believer everyone has, you know, feelings regardless. I mean, I'm, I'm loving my situation right now. It's just what happens, they somehow find out about each other. Just move They on, won't. Right? And what do you care? You know what? If they find out about each other, tough luck. It's their problem. All right, by the way, are you, are you lying to them and telling them you're in love with them? No, no. So who cares? You never said you have a monogamous relationship here, did you? True. True. And, uh, I mean, the thing is, uh, the one already kind of trapped me and uh, met up with her her parents, who, this is a good girl in San Diego, and and they really liked me. So now. Why are you meeting parents? Why are you doing that? I didn't, there was no intention to. I met up with her for lunch, and she was having lunch with her folks, and I didn't even, she never said that. So, so she tricked you into meeting like, her parents. What's that? You tricked her into meeting your parents. No, she tricked me into meeting her parents. That's what I, I just I, said. She tricked you into meeting her parents. Yeah, yeah. So do I just stop my... Uh, uh, I would dump that bitch. Yeah? And what do you mean relationship? Why are you calling this a relationship? Well, she kind of thinks it is. A, I mean, we've been... Someone's seen each other for, you know, four months. She just assumed. Four months? That, uh, yeah, but but why do you let her assume that? I mean, I, I told her. I was like, look, you know, I'm in school. I'm doing my thing. Uh, you know, and right now I'm happy with how things are going. And she's, you know, it, it surprised me when, when she did that as far as with her folks. So I why don't you just move on? Just move on and then forget about it then? Why not? All right. I, I just wanted to uh, get some good advice from you, Tom. Like I mean, if you're caller. capable of meeting, uh, if you're capable of meeting other chicks, why don't you do that? True, true. Sounds good, Tom. I, I appreciate it. Uh, Are you? Ca- wait, wait, wait. Are you capable? I'm capable for sure, for sure. I just wanted to get a good advice and uh, a right. It's been on my mind for the last couple weeks, and uh, just about going around. The right route of uh, decided on what to do. The right route. You know why are you so worried about this? Who cares about their feelings? Who cares? Why do you care about that? <laughs> you don't. You don't care about how a woman feels about you at all time. Couldn't care less. Couldn't care less. You I care about me. My, I come first. I hear you. Even even in your your past marriages, you didn't have any feelings. I was stupid. You were so. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. I mean, stop worrying about their feelings. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's true. That's true. Right? That, that is absolutely true. I, I just, like I said, I, I needed some advice, and uh, I, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lose it. I'm going to 
get get rid of the the San Diego girl and uh, move on, and and another woman comes along, and hop on to it. And uh, st- and when the new ones come along, don't be having feelings about them either. They yeah. are there for your use. I I hear you. I just felt like I got caught up, and I don't know. I just wanted to make sure I was doing the making the right decision. I, maybe I got in too too involved with the one chick. Anytime and, uh, you start calling it a relationship, you've gotten too involved with one chick. Yeah. All right on, Tom. Well, I appreciate you uh, listening to me. And uh, can you take me out, uh, Aborigine style? What style? Aborigine. Aber. We don't have Aborigine style. Are you talking about African tribal style? Yes, African tribal style. Oh, sorry, Tom. Yes, yes, we can do that. Baninge, 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 so penza. Baninge, 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 so penza. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Juan on the Tom Likas Show. Hello, Juan. Hello, Tom. What up? Hey, listen, Tom, I have a little situation here. I'm trying to see if you can help me out, brother. All right. All right. Uh, not long ago, let's say about four months ago, you know, this girl, whatever, you know, lover, I got her pregnant, right? And uh, Why'd you do well, that? Well, uh, apparently the rubber broke or something. Okay, and I'm trying to see if I'm off the hook here. All right? Here we go. I had put it off. I, I did the Hail Mary on her, you know what I mean? All the deal. And I promised her, you know, that I was going to pay it, that yada yada, it's okay. You know, but let's keep it together because I'm married, right? And then she said, oh, okay, yeah, no problem. You're, why are you married? Well, uh, it's happened. And I made it happen, actually. That's and right. And it's, it's something I have to live with. Okay. Uh, now she uh, she got rid of the you know the, the fetus, and she, uh, she now she gave me the bill, and I told her I'll be right back. I went because I went to her house, right? And I told her I'll be right back with the bill, and I gave her the bill, and I called her back. Let me go to the ATM. I went to the ATM, and I never went back. And she keeps texting me and calling me that she needs to talk to me, that yada yada, that that she that I gotta you know whatever that she's gonna take me to court. Does she have? Does she have a? Uh, does she have a case there, Tom? Yeah, she does in small claims court. Yeah, but there's nothing signed. There's nothing. Doesn't you know, have to be. That's a verbal no, commitment. Right. It's a verbal commitment. Okay. Uh, the question is whether she can convince the judge that she's telling the truth. Okay. Now, now this. She don't know. She don't know where I live at. She don't know uh, pretty much just my name. That's easily gotten think. because she's got your cell phone number. Uh, okay. So uh, what do you suggest? I suggest paying your bills. Okay. Well, uh, let me try on that, Tom. And uh, you know what? Give me a favor. Take me out, uh, number nine style. All right. There you go. Number nine. The remorse I feel will always be with me. From those to whom much is given, much is expected. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Jeez, what happens if that your girl pay, calls your wife or something? Come on! Jesus! Chad on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hey, Dad. Long time listener, first time caller. How you doing? Okay, sir. Good. Um, you were talking about young young couples, everything else. I'm actually a young couple. I'm 22 years old. I'm actually engaged. I think I have found actually the exception to all of your rules. I've been listening yeah, to Yeah, everybody, everybody says that. Everybody. Well, geez. Here, descriptions. She's got an abortion twice for me. She's 5'3", 115 pounds, bees, and about... Yeah, and why, like, why, is she not using, why is she not using birth control? Oh, she is. Then how, why is she have to have I guess I'm extremely fertile, I guess. No, no, no. <laughs> she tells you she's using birth control, but she's really not. Oh, I see her take a pill every single morning. We live together right now. And you're living so with she, her, too. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're actually just about to get married here pretty soon. She cooks, she cleans. Does my laundry every single day. Does everything that you could possibly want in a woman, and this is like the one person I could think that would actually meet your exceptions. I, like I said, I'm 22. I make 50k. But even then, you don't need to commit at such a young age. You, you're these are years you should be enjoying yourself, having well, fun. 
having yeah. experiences with a variety of people. That, I used to have a fake ID since I was 17 years old. That doesn't mean anything. <laughs> going yeah, to bars, yeah. there's much more to life than going to bars. What else? How about traveling around the world? You know what? That's something I've actually always wanted to do. You're right on that. But you haven't, have you? Nope. The only places I've ever been is Utah and, what, and San Francisco. Yeah, well, guess what? Once you get married, you never will. Because okay. she will start telling you, we need to buy a house. We need to have a baby in our house. We need to have a baby. Oh, no. that that That's one thing that we... When are we going to have a baby? I hope to... Hope to goodness it doesn't happen. But well, I know, I know. For another three years, hopefully. Oh yeah, hopefully. But if there's an hopefully. accident, she'll be more than happy to go ahead and have it. And yeah, then no your kidding. travel days are over, over, <laughs> over, over. Oh yeah, that doesn't that doesn't surprise me at all. That's actually, the same thing happened to many of my friends. All my friends I know have gotten. So if you know this. If you know this, why are you tying yourself down? If she loves you, she'll be there in three or four years when you come back from traveling and learning and having a good time. Well, yeah, that is, that is true, but most of the time... She well, doesn't yeah. love you that much, does she? Well, I think she does. She better. Well, then try it. Okay. That actually sounds something like I may end up doing. No, you not won't. totally sure about that because we're supposed to get married in March next year. Oh, my God. And by the way... Uh, let me ask you the other question. I already know the answer. How many yeah. pages is your prenup? How many pages is my prenup? Yeah, then the answer is zero, right? That is, uh, you're absolutely correct. Good work there, Ace. Yeah, no, it, it, not the best of decisions all the time, but not... No, I no, no, no. You haven't made any good decisions. You have not made any good decisions. Well, yeah, there there has been a lot of bad decisions. No, there aren't a lot of good decisions. Yeah. What are the good ones? I honestly don't know right now. That that means there aren't any. No, didn't go to college, didn't do really do anything. Missed out of foot, ditched out of football, did a lot of different things. So, not many good decisions in my life. You're absolutely right, Dad. But that didn't take long to figure out, did it? No, I've I've known that for a long time. But that's one of those things where I thought it was one of those exceptions to to the rules. But, son, if you can change it now, why not change it while you still can? I can't afford it, Dad. I can't what do you mean you can't afford it? My student loans I can't get because my dad ruined my credit from when I was 16 years old to now. I can't. That, does, that, doesn't, can't necessarily, but that doesn't necessarily mean you can't get a student loan. I've tried. I actually tried a couple of times this year, and I couldn't do it. They would well, not then, let you me need, do it. then you need to go to community college, and while you're going to community college, you need to save up. What, do you think the community college would honestly better be better than, like, ITT Tech or something? Yep. Yeah? Yep. That was one thing I was trying to decide on whether I should do or not. Yes, because having a real college degree has value. And by okay. the way, I don't know if you've been paying any attention, but we're in a recession. Yeah. People are getting laid off. People are getting their salaries not cut. Yep. Businesses are closing. Do you really think you can afford to be on the world without a college degree right now? Absolutely not. Well, if you don't think that, why are you without one? Because it's really hard for me to be able to get into college, Dad. Son. Like I said, I try to get into colleges to get student loans to try to do whatever I can. I was an EMT for about two years and got out of that because that just wasn't the right industry for me and was a loan officer for about a year and a half as well, and then that's right when the thing started plummeting down. Right. That's my it's point. Just, it's just hard. Life's hard, so that's, that's what I thought. No, 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 no. You are making life harder. Okay. You're doing it. Okay. Why? Why? Because, like I said, Dad, I thought it was going to be easier. It's not. Why did you think that? More money, combination income, plus the love of one one of of each other. Yeah, well, guess what? Combination income. How much do the two of you make? We both make under, well, like I said, I make 50. She makes about 35, so we're about 85 together right now. And no doubt you're paying all her bills or a good no, part No, not of at all. We actually split everything right down the middle. She pays electricity, gas. I pay, we, we pay everything half right down the middle. Hang on a second, Chad. Let me get Nate on the phone here. Nate, 
What did you want to say to Chad? Chad, you're a complete idiot. You make 50K a year. Being single, you could travel all over the world if you were smart about it. But now you're going to be caught in a relationship and giving half your money away. Dude, uh, yeah, that, that, is, that is true because I am going to be stuck in a relationship. I won't be able to travel the world. Which really does. Yeah, and you're going to be like, you're, you're like 20, Tom 20, said, there's a major recession old. going around. It's too, too expensive to travel. Gas is $4.64 over where I live. Well, buy a scooter. Be smart about it. You're gonna <laughs> don't throw more money away by getting married. Well, I'm not. I'm not paying for the damn marriage. You will be. Well, yeah, that, that is true. I'll be paying for honeymoon. So. And you're gonna miss out on traveling. Have you? You said you've only been to Utah and where else? I no. I've been to Utah once. I've never left California except for twice. Exactly. Don't get married. Travel. Have fun. Like, yeah. That. That is and you nice can idea. do it. All you have to do is go home and tell you're not getting married. It's a lot harder than that, though. No, it's not. It's four words. <laughs> yeah, that that's true right there, too. Yep. All right, man. Well, good luck, and uh, hope you can make it on 50K. Yeah. Thanks, Nathan. All right. Uh, thanks, Nate. Uh, let me get Carrie on here. Carrie, what did you want to say here to Chad? Chad, have you been a long-time listener? Yes, I've been listening to Tom Likey since I was 16. My mom got me into him. How many people have called him and told him they should have never got married? Uh, way too many to count. Right, and you think you found the perfect woman, and as Thomas... Uh, there's no to... such thing as the perfect woman. Well, 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 my point is that she's the perfect woman now, but the minute you get married, she's not going to have to do any of those things anymore because she, because you're her husband. Well, that, that's where just... That's why the divorce rates up so high. Within well, why, days, sixty days, ninety days. Right. So, so why why get married? Just just live together, and you shouldn't even be doing that. But just live together, and there's I mean, who needs a piece of paper? What was that? Or continue to take. Why do you need the piece of paper? Continue to live together. You shouldn't even be doing that. You should be out playing and having a great time. But uh, we 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 go out every night. We don't have a kid. We don't have anything. So we go I'm, out every I mean, night. We no, no. every night. I mean, with other women. Oh, You're yeah. way too well, young. Trust, trust me, I got married when I was 23, and it was the worst decision I've ever made in my life. Well, Dad, I've also had three threesomes with this woman as well, with different mm -hmm. women. This woman's... You could do that without being married, engaged, or living with her. Oh, well, well, yeah, that's true, too. Absolutely. Just don't don't get married. Like, we, like he tells you every single day, you need to stay single. You never know what's going to happen. Wait five years. Wait ten years. Don't, but don't get married. Okay. Well, yeah, it, it, it's hard in life. That's the only reason why it's so so much easier to do it. Is what it seems. What's hard? Just life. The price of everything. Like you said, that everything's going. So you you think getting married is going to save you money? No, I, I know it's going to cost me money, but it's going to. I thought it would pretty much benefit me from. Well, I thought it'd be more beneficial than anything else. How so? Through just the money, through... You just said it would cost more. And you say you go out every night. Yeah, that's true. So I'm kind of contradicting myself now. Absolutely. Right? Well, yeah, yeah. Dad, I appreciate your opinion. I Sorry to say for this one time, I, I'm going to have to keep pushing forward with it. I love you, you know, Well, you don't, you don't have to. You don't have to. Well, yeah, I know you're doing it. To. You're doing it because you're a pussy. You know. Oh, stop it! You can't use that on the air, please. Excuse me. Sorry. Oh, Jesus Christ! Hang on a second here, Davis. What do you want to say to Chad? Brother, you definitely need a college education. About five minutes ago, you said I've never left California except for twice. You, you, there's, there's bigger things and better things to do. You're, you're in your you're in your mid twenties. I'm I'm in my early thirties. Never been married. Been able to travel. I'm still in. If I got a girl, we split everything. When I want to do something, I do it. When I want to buy something, I buy it. If I want to take a trip, I take it. You just uh, you you need to get educated. You need to listen to Tom. That's one thing I've been trying to do. Which yeah, I I totally agree. I do need to get educated. I do need to get out there to be able to tour the world and that's why hopefully why we're not planning on having kids for the next three years hopefully hopefully you never, you hopefully never know. yeah you do know you know what here's how you know don't get married 
That's what you say you're planning for the next three years. You have no idea what she's planning. Well, that is true. She could stop taking that birth control any time. Yeah, and let me guess. the uh, You're using those flesh-colored condoms? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. I wanted to know what your idea of a perfect woman was. That would be a woman who turns into a six-pack of a sandwich after I have her. <laughs> That's all? Wouldn't that be, that would no be, idea of a perfect woman at That would all? be perfect to me. I haven't met one yet, but uh, that would be perfect. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's the Tom Likas Show. Tom Likas, it's 1-800-5-800-TOM. Kevin, I'm the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Yeah. How you doing, man? Great. Hey. Tom, can you hear me better? I already said I'm doing great well? when you asked me how I was. That would <laughs> okay, indicate good. that I can hear you. All right, I, I couldn't hear you. I hit you on the... Stupid uh, Bluetooth, but now I'm better. Hey, I'm about ready to get married. I've been, been with the girl for two years. We have a 10-month-old daughter. Why'd you do that? What? Why did you do that? Because I wanted to have a kid. Mm hmm Okay. And, and then the kid's great. Mom's mom's great, but sometimes we just go at it, and we're trying to figure out what 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 to do next. Why do you live with her? Um, she moved in with me. Why? Um, I, I wanted her to live with me at the time. Why? Uh, just because I thought that was where the next level of the relationship was supposed to go. Why do you assume that? Um, just because I wanted to... Uh, I thought I was in love. Wanted to grow with it. Well, clearly you were wrong, right? Yeah, I was wrong. Well, that's why I tell people not to do this, but people like you do these things anyway, and that's why I ask why you did it. You right. can have a baby without living with someone, without marrying somebody. There's right. no benefit to you. Okay. If things don't work out, then you're not just paying child support, you're paying it through the nose. Because she lives with me? Yes. Well, what am I supposed to do? I mean, uh, you know, we got a great kid. Our, you know, our daughter's awesome. and uh, You can live in the neighborhood. You can live in the same zip code. You don't have to live with this woman. Right. Okay. And Couldn't then, uh, you? Well, then what should I do? I mean, we're supposed to get married next, you know, but... We fight sometimes. I'm like, I don't know if this is a. Why would you want? Be. Why would you want to be with somebody who fights with you? I don't. You agree? I agree with you. So don't do it. Okay. And so what should I do? Don't get married. Okay. Tell her you're not getting married. All right. And what about my daughter? And you know, raising her, you know, with her, you know, parents. You could continue to be around. You could continue to be. And by God, more than half of marriages now are, in, are ending in divorce. Oh, I know. I see that happening all the time. All right. But the, the kids still have their parents. And there is still parenting. There's joint custody. There's no longer a stigma if your kid goes to school and says, my parents are divorced. All right. So uh, you can do that. Okay. I have a zero tolerance policy for screaming, arguing, nagging, critiquing, criticizing, and complaining. All right. Zero. Okay. But I mean, so I sometimes I think I bring it on because I, I mean, I work my ass off. Um, what does that have to do with anything? And, and I'm, I agree. 
I so what do you mean you like, think you, why do look no matter how delusional she is why do you think you bring it up oh, i just think think i bring home uh some of my stress from work and and i end up picking some fights or whatever if you weren't living with her this wouldn't happen you're right you're definitely right you know but i, I seem like i'm a control freak sometimes well and, and you, you then you shouldn't live with her right you shouldn't have a relationship with her she's the mother of your child You'll step up to the plate and take care of your kid. Okay. You have no other obligations. Okay. Well, what should I do right now? She's living with me. Um, you can get out of there. Uh, when's your lease up? I own the house. I just bought a house in uh, Beer Brand. <laughs> Good timing uh, on that. Huh? When did you buy the house? In uh, November. Does she own part of the house? No. No, I, we're not married. That doesn't mean she, her name's not on the deed. It no, doesn't mean she's not paying. No, she's not paying. I own, I own my own business, and I just uh, I give her a paycheck. To do what? <laughs> to do what? I knew you were going to say that to me. Um, just, uh, to, to do bills. nothing. To do nothing. Uh, you correct. Why? Because I was hoping to help her out. Why do you need to help her out? Is she uh, an invalid? No, not at a all. A cripple? Is she a cripple? No, I just wanted Is to... Is she help. mentally retarded? <laughs> not even close. So why does she need your help? She doesn't need my help. Why are you giving her help? Just because I thought that would be the right thing to do. Why? I to see my, uh, my, my, my kid be... You know, raise, you know, with mom at home all day. Yeah, well, <laughs> guess what? Now you're you're already paying alimony without even being married. <laughs> okay. Right? Yeah, you're right. So what do I do now? Couldn't you have joint custody? Couldn't uh, you stagger the hours of her work and your work? So that she works sometimes, you work sometimes. The two of you take care of the kid when you have time. Um, you you could really do that. I, I really couldn't take care of the kid because I work. I work from probably you know full day six to six to five. Six to five. Oh, why couldn't you have the kid at night? Oh, I could have the kid at night. But, why? Uh, so why couldn't why couldn't uh, she work at night? Well, she's a professional. I mean, she was a professional. Now she's a stay-at-home mom. She's a nobody. She doesn't you're, do anything. You're right. I took her independence away from her. Right. And what kind of uh, professional is she? Was she? She was a school teacher. She was a school teacher. Correct. You said, quit your job. Right. And then she fights with you on top of all of this, showing no appreciation or respect. Right? Definitely. Right. Yeah. Josh, what did you want to say here to Kevin? Oh, uh, I just want to say, uh, dude, you need to get out of this now. Seriously. This is just retarded. You're calling Tom like this. You already know what he's going to say, and you're asking for his advice. Come on. Seriously. You're right, Josh. You're definitely right. And you know, I've, I've heard it, and I've thought about it. And, uh,. If you heard it, why are you calling for advice? You already know what he's going to say. I really didn't. Uh, I've just, just been listening listening to it for a while and just wanted to, I don't know. I guess you thought, you know, you thought, you to... thought, he thought he knew more than I knew, right, Josh? Exactly. I mean, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this on the radio, but you need to get your head out of your ass, man. Seriously. All right, well, Tom, I, I want you to blow me up any possible way you think I deserve it. You deserve it every possible way. Our email address, Tom at blowmeuptom.com. The Tom Likas Show.